Wendy Williams is shaking, and I think it's time for us to stop just being spectators, laughing, kind of looking away from this situation before something really happens to my number one girl. Jason Lee posted today um, something about Wendy, and it, it really, really alarmed me, and I just want to speak to the people about it. Let's talk about it. First off, I want to start off by saying no Jason Lee slander will be tolerated. I don't I don't do that. I live for Jason Lee. Jason Lee li literally to me is the closest thing we have to Wendy. Passed to us down by Wendy because I don't watch Sherry. You know, on all due respect, I love Sherry Shepard on Martin. That's my girl. But I don't watch Sherry and I definitely don't watch Jennifer Hudson. I don't know what y'all are talking about. But Jason Lee posted this today and he said, man, early Instagram scrolling. I randomly found this video of Wendy and started crying. It's sad what they're doing to her. I told her family that I'm afraid the next thing we're going to hear is they're going to find Wendy unlived. The fact that they're keeping her from her son, her son, and everybody knows how much Wendy loves her son. They took control of her money. She lost her apartment, erased her off the internet, and now they've completely isolated her. This is alarming. First of all, everyone knows Wendy only has one son, Kevin Jr., and Kevin Jr. has been fighting, fighting for his a life okay he literally cannot even get access to his mother's money money that he is owed if this was a white celebrity and their child their only child their only namesake was not able to take care of themselves for the money that legally their mother left them to survive go to college and do a great job in life the world would be up in arms correct and i'm up in arms for her Jason Lee at the end of it said, who's responsible for it all? We had a whole free Britney movement, but it's crickets on Wendy. Probably because she's a black woman and it saddens me. Love you, Wendy. Now, all the reports for the past year have all been, Wendy's going to try to do a podcast, but we don't think she's well enough. Uh, Wendy's still sick. Wendy's got dementia. Wendy's got this. I want to hear directly from the source. I want to know what's going on. First of all, I don't trust Wells Fargo. I have a very close uh, friend and she told me years ago, she works in medical banking. She used to be banking at the um, Sanford uh, Bank out there in California. And I remember we drove past Wells Fargo one time and she was like, oh, disgusting. I could spit at it. She was like, you never have Wells Fargo. She was like, it's the worst bank. And this to me proves it. Wells Fargo is holding about... 60 million of Wendy's dollars. They will not give it to her saying that she's unfit and that she almost needs to go through a conservative shift to get her money. But where that's where that's alarming to me, I remember when Lovely T was reporting on this, she made a comment and said they don't have it. And I believe that to be true. I don't think Wells Fargo has her money. See, y'all don't understand. These banks rob Peter to pay Paul. The real banking system, they ain't got all the money. These are just numbers that are written. Sometimes when it's time to give that money up, they got to go get it from a whole nother account for real because America's in debt. We don't got it like that, but where they can steal, where they can steal, where America's big corporations can steal, oh, they're going to steal. And Wendy is right for the picking because there's no Kevin there. Recently, Kevin was suing Deb Bar Mercury, the company that Wendy was working under her production company. He was suing them for some money that he said he was owed and he won about $10 million, but saddens me, saddens me, saddens me. Because he's not about to help Wendy with that money. He's going to help his side chick, their new baby, and he might throw some pennies to that son, okay? At the end of the day, yes, Kevin Hunter was the grease that kept the machine going. But I don't think he's about to do nothing for her. He's one of the reasons why we're in this situation. Him leaving her broke her. It broke her. And then it was like, he left her. Her mom died. The show, like, everything has been set up to break Wendy. And I need you to know, Wendy, that we are broken without you. I love wendy williams not like love and when i do get my own show there will be a, a huge picture of her in there it's gonna be a picture of wendy oprah lovely t and phil donahue in, in my office because those are my goats that's my mount rushmore you see what i'm saying and i think that we are trying to erase wendy and i refuse to do that wendy i will stand on every single platform i own and talk about you and beg for your beg for you back in the talk show industry right now we got um Clowns like Joe Budden running it. And don't get me wrong, Joe Budden, you know, that's my girl. But she's a clown. I'm looking for Wendy Williams content, period. We will not rest. We cannot stop saying her name. Support Wendy. Wendy, we love you. We miss you. We did not forget about you, even though they're trying to bury and cover your legacy.